Sometimes the universe kicks us in the teeth. Sometimes life brings us down. Things happen. There will always be ups and downs to life. But sometimes we go through things, whether it's a breakup, a loss of a job, a loss of a friend, a separation of some kind, some other tragic event happens in life, these negative, heavier things. And the question is, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to cave into darkness, cave into depression and moping around? Or are you going to rise to the occasion, rise to the level that needs to be risen to and move forward? being triggered into action, not triggered into giving up. See, in life, when we allow ourselves to look at things, when we allow our consciousness awareness to come forth, we have what I call blessings. Now, blessings is a lesson and a blessing. It's when we discover the blessing that's in disguise from the universe, from ourself, from the great spirit, however you want to look at it, or and also the lessons that we can learn from our great practical life. Like in a very practical manner, there's always lessons to be learned. Either we win or we learn in life. And usually it's both. So when we go through things, if we allow ourselves to zoom out a little bit and see the lesson that's there, or view it from a higher perspective, we can see the blessing that's happened to us. I've never met anyone that like lost a job went through a really hard breakup, went through some kind of like loss of a friend, whether it's disassociation with that person anymore, where they're just not in harmony with each other anymore, or they fall out of contact, you know, or even when they've gone through some of the hardest, heaviest parts of their life and gone through depression or through extreme anxiety or panic attacks, you know, in six months to a year after they've actually faced it, looked at it, or even as time's gone by, I've never met anyone that's been like, yeah, that really sucked, period. There's usually, yeah, that sucked and I learned this. Yeah, that was really hard and I learned this about myself. Or yeah, that happened and it really sucked and it was hard and rough, but here's this hidden blessing I didn't see that came from it. Here's this unique thing that happened about it. Here's how I became a better person. We can choose to look at it that way. And of course, there are those that dwell on that and they stay in that zone for a while. But if we allow ourselves to actually look at some of the heavier parts of our life, or even the current things we're going through, we can see the blessings in them. We can see the lessons in them. And then we get blessings, which is this very powerful word that I've learned. And see, even for myself, and you know, not too long ago, as I'm being an entrepreneur, doing my thing, doing coaching, course creation, and so forth, I was going into an opportunity to partner with a new group of people, to partner with this group of people that hired life coaches and helped them out, and they taught younger boys and boys into men, and did a lot of rites of passage. And as I went through the hiring process, I went through the training, went through all those things, and begun to actually begin to work with them, one of the owners of that company found my YouTube, found my Instagram, found out some other things and saw how I was online and said, you know, actually, you're just a little too esoteric for us. You're a little too spiritual for us. You're a little too, you know, there was a list of things that he brought up, you know, and rejected and was like, actually, we're just not going to move forward in this process. Now, I lost a lot of time, energy and well, really energy. A lot of time and energy was put into that. A lot of growing with them, a lot of connection, a lot of getting to know these people, starting to work with these boys, and being rejected by them when it all came down to it. Now, it hurt, it sucked, it felt really heavy, and I felt down for a bit. I felt down and disconnected, and I was like, oh man, like maybe I'm just not good enough for people. Maybe I'm just not good at this even though I have a track record that says otherwise, even though I have clients that would say otherwise, even though I have a beautiful, loving family and been to and taught at retreats and, you know, have quite the rap sheet that would say that I am good at being a transformational coach, that I am good at causing change in people and talking to people and projecting and speaking. I took this as a thing. And yeah, it took me a moment to realize, wait a minute, Look at the way they do things. Look at the way they handle things. They actually underpay their coaches. They actually have this very strict belief system of not trusting people, of not allowing people to, if you don't fit this cookie cutter model, 
and we don't want you. And that's a blessing because then I couldn't be my authentic self. If we're afraid of being our authentic selves for people, then we become an inauthentic version of ourselves to please people that we don't really want to be or we don't want to be like. We're trying to gain the favor of other people by being our inauthentic self, which leads to us not being us. Allows, you know, and I'll speak from the, me, allowed me to not be me. And I wasn't trying to change for them, but there have been times in my past where I allowed myself to ignore certain red flags about people, to ignore certain things they said, because I just wanted to please them. I just wanted to be on their side. I wanted to be friends with them. I wanted to connect with them and so forth for standing in my own truth and light, standing in that way. So this was an opportunity to see how, how I could have fallen into that again. And as well as also by having that door closed and allowing myself to zoom out to a higher perspective, I realized, take a moment, look at my own skills, look at my own gifts and see what other doors of possibility are out there. See what other doors have opened, you know, and realizing that, yeah, I was doing this for a money purpose. I was joining up with them so I could use my skills in a way and get paid for my skills, but they were holding at a very low bar as to what those skills were actually worth, where my skills are worth much more. My talents are worth much more than what they were willing to do, as well as doors have opened up where I can connect with people in a better way. I can do other things. You know, I'm now helping out with these nature tours where I go and take people into nature and we go see animals like antelope and bison and coyotes and porcupines and migratory birds and golden eagles and I could go on and on about all the animals we see on these nature tours, as well as teach me how to connect with the earth, connect with the plants there, actually partake of the plant and give an equivalent exchange back to them, you know, teaching them more of these things, as well as still running my own coaching business, as still allows creating courses and content for people, but allowing an in-person nature connection for people. That door would not have opened had the other one not closed as well as other doors of opportunity that are now available because that door closed. I grew from that experience. I learned that it is so much more powerful to own my truth regardless of people don't accept me. My acceptance does not depend on other people's judgment. My forgiveness of myself and my forgiveness of others does not depend on other people's judgment. Stepping into my own voice, into my own power, is not subject to somebody else. It's subject to myself. And those that matter are those that will be attracted to it. Those that are meant to hear the message will hear the message. Those that are meant to connect like this, those of you that are watching this video are meant to be watching this video and are meant to be hearing these words because there's something there for you as well. So I hope you are not playing small in life. I hope that you can also view these things called blessings in your own life. Take a look at some of the heaviest moments you've had in your life and see what lessons came from them. See what blessings came out of them in the long run. Even if you're going through something heavy right now and then things just aren't working the way you want and you're not happy or satisfied in life, take a moment, take a breath, and take a look at what am I learning here? What is the blessing that can be from this for me? All right, peace and love, my friends. Keep being your awesome selves, and we'll see you soon.